Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10, Romans chapter 3 verse 8, and Lamentations chapter 2 verse 22. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for your beautiful word. Thank you for the beauty of your word. Lord God, thank you for growing it up in us, Lord God. Help us to mature. Help us to stand firm in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Help us to finish strong, Lord. Amen. All right, you guys. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things not yet done saying, my counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purpose. All right. And so um, here, this is actually um, speaking of the fact that, you know, unlike all these other um, idols that the people were worshiping, God was real right? He wasn't a carved image. He wasn't, um, he doesn't even want to be carved, right? Um, he, he doesn't want any idolatry. He doesn't want anything to be able to say that that's him, right? And so, um, he's unlike all these other gods, um, that people create with their hands because number one, he created all of them, Right. And he created everything. And, you know, unlike them, their gods can't save them. Their gods can't can't keep them. Their gods can't can't do what he can do, including tell the future. Right. Um, God is a God who knows what's coming. Right. He knows um, what's around every bend and he gives counsel to those who are um, who are his. Right. And sometimes he even gives counsel to, to other people. Right. Just to to get them to try to come to him, to to turn them back towards him. Right. It says declaring the end from the beginning. So meaning that God spoke out the end all the way from the beginning he knew that he was going to to um to cr- cause man to crush satan's head right he he wanted them to master sin and from the beginning he was speaking these things right and he knew that it would come through his son it says declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things not yet done so you know remember christ was prophesied from the beginning, right? And 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 a new covenant coming was prophesied from the beginning. All the things that God, you know, has done, he declares it beforehand. So you know, right, that there is no other God. You know that he is real. You know that that he is truth, right? Why? Because there's no one else who can do it right there's no one else who can who can who can give you a dream that reveals the future right there's no one else who can speak to your heart and relay a message without saying a word right our god is real and his counsel shall stand it says saying my counsel shall stand and i will accomplish all my purpose Right. And so when God speaks to our heart and when he says something is coming and when he decides to do a thing, please believe all of it is going to get done. And his counsel is 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 just right. And so it's going to stand. It, it's going to it's it's right. It, it's it's what's right. It's what's what what should be done. Right. It's going to stand. But whether or not you take that counsel is is on you right we have to take the counsel of the lord and we have to have soft hearts to hear what he has to say to say his counsel is going to stand right his counsel will stand so just like with um cain you know killing abel um you know he gave him counsel but but you know whether or not he refused it um you know that's that's a different story but but for us when god tells us something we have to heed it right when he tells us don't hoard up treasure because it's the last day 
we have to heed it, right? We have to turn away from it. We have to turn away from the things that we know he has spoken to our hearts. No matter what the world is doing, no matter where the world is going, right? God has declared it from the beginning. And guess what? His counsel is going to stand and he is going to accomplish all his purpose. God has a purpose. He tells his children what it is. He lets them know where to be, where to stand, right? So that we don't get swept away. And so, you know, we have to put our hope and our trust in God that when the testing comes, that word does not wither away. The planting um, of that seed does not wither away. Um, and and it does, does last, it does stand, amen. All right, and so um, Romans chapter three, verse eight is the second verse um, that the Lord gave me. And why not do evil that good may come as some people slanderously charge us with saying their condemnation is just. All right, and so it says, why not do evil that good may come? So during that time, you know, people were accusing, you know, Paul and, and, and saying, you you know, this grace, this extravagant grace that Christ has given us, why not just continue in sin, right? That grace may abound, right? And that is not the way. Why? Because that's refusing the counsel of the Lord. The Lord is speaking to our hearts through Holy Spirit. The Lord is letting us know what the right way is. It's up to us to receive it, right? God forbid that we continue in the same way after learning and knowing what we know after after having an understanding after having um the deliverance right we don't go back to that old thing we are transformed our mind has been renewed right and so we don't want to keep going back and picking up that old thing right that's not the way of god and you don't want to be turned over to a reprobate mind Right. And so it says, and why not do evil that good may come as some people slanderously charge us with saying their condemnation is just. All right. And so, um, you know, they were wanting a license to sin. Right. And so there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And if you're in Christ Jesus, that means you're, you're, he's your Lord. You're taking his commands. You're, you're taking his counsel, right? You're doing his will. You're walking in his way. And so it says, and why not do evil that good may come as some people slanderously charge us with saying their condemnation is just. And so, you know, we don't want to, to walk in evil ways. We don't want to, um, um, be seen as having turned our back against the counsel of God, right? And so we want to make sure that we are doing good and not doing evil, not looking like the world. And see, I think the part of the problem is we don't see sin as evil, right? And so when God tells you something and you know something to do and you don't do it, it's sin, right? That's what the Bible says. When you know what to do and you don't do it is sin. And so we we need to see all sin as evil, right? And so we need to realize that 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 thing that we see as small, right? And in God's eyes if God hates it, we should hate it, right? Um and so it says and why not do evil that good may come, right? Um, Meaning that, you know, God is still going to abound towards us with his grace, right? Um, A greater grace, but that doesn't give you a license to sin. And so it says, as some people slanderously charge us with saying, their condemnation is just, so they were trying to twist the words that, that they were being used by the enemy, 
right? And they were trying to twist the words of God and get it to, to a point of being able to, to do what it was that they wanted to do right go back into their old ways um and and if they were thinking like that paul says their condemnation is just right and so um you know god knows the end from the beginning god knows the counsel that he gave you stand firm in it stand firm in it don't use grace as a license to sin when you know that god has counseled you against certain things amen all right, and so Lamentations chapter two, verse 22. You summon as if to a festal day, my terrors on every side and on the day of anger of the Lord, no one escaped or survived. Those whom I held and raised, my enemy destroyed. And so if we know, you know, a way that the Lord is is counseling us against, um, and, and, you know, we continue on our own way, the way of Cain, right? Then we are asking for this type of wrath, right? Because this type of wrath, you know, these people were counseled, right? They had P Jeremiah, right? I was about to say Pastor Jeremiah. David Jeremiah, they had the prophet Jeremiah speaking to them, you know, um, telling them the truth and other prophets, right? Um, telling them the truth, but they chose to listen to the lying prophets, right? They chose to listen to the lies. And so, you know, when the wrath came, they had so listened to these lies that they were going to get help from their um their allies right that that it, it surprised them right it says you summon as if to a festival day right and so that means that they would have probably most likely trumpets or or ram horns and things like that that they will call the people to toward the town centers or toward the temple and so you know it says you summon me you summon as if to a festival day my terrors on every side so they were surrounded right? They were already surrounded when they got there, right? And so it says, um, no one escaped or survived. And so that means that, you know, total annihilation, total destruction. Why? For listening to unwise counsel, for listening to the summoning of lies, right? For listening to, to um, unwise counsel and not the counsel of God, Right. It says, and on the day of the anger of the Lord, no one escaped or survived. So that was the people who were still there, who, you know, who chose to to not listen to the voice of the Lord. And so it says those whom I held and raised my enemy destroyed and so they were ransacked right they were ransacked and and completely you know annihilated in, in many ways right and it says those whom I held and raised my enemy destroyed so those that they found precious in their own eyes right were the one the things that were snatched away from them right and so you know god is a god who has proven himself throughout time it, we need to stand firm in faith even if it takes a long time though the vision terry wait on it it's going to come to pass right? It, it is going to come to pass. You just have to put your trust in God and know that he is a faithful God. And he is a God who, who knows the end from the beginning. And that's what he has declared to us, the believer, right? He doesn't want us to be in that path of wrath. He wants us, those who have listened to take heed to the counsel that he has given, and he's going to take care of us. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Father God, forgive us for our sins. Forgive us if we've ever 
overindulged in your grace in order to have a license to sin, Lord God. Don't turn us over to a reprobate mind, Lord God. Help our mind to be stayed on thee. Help us to know right from wrong, right? And even, even, even when lion spirits come, help us to know right from wrong, Lord God. Help us to stand firm in faith and stand in the wise counsel that you have given us. We give you all the glory and the honor and praise. We say thank you, God. You're a good and a mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Take care and be blessed.